Hello viewers, welcome back. Today we will speak about reciprocating magnetic motor by Harold Miller. On my left side you can see the image which represents uh, this motor. It looks pretty pretty cool I would say. And let's now show briefly an animation. So now you can see an animation which shows how this operates. And you can see that you have some uh, unalignment in the rotor in the rotor rotation and this is because it works in a reciprocating manner but I will explain this when I get to the big screen and show you directly not to miss something so let's get on it all right so this is the magnetic motor of Harold Miller you can see that the, there are three rotors over here on the main shaft and as you can see they are not spinning equally because they are not positioned in they should do they should spin this way as it's shown because of the uh, how they're positioned on the main shaft as you can see uh, these two rotors are have attracting forces between each other and this and the other two have repelling forces so the magnets of the other are pushing one of the other and the second one is attracting one the other and here is basically the key we are using such kind of a reciprocating uh, motion to create a torque which help us to to continue to spin this rotor otherwise it would, this would never work but as you can see we have some kind of uh, input motors uh, which is needed to to spin this at least just momentarily and then this uh, forces between the magnets are created and then it moves much forward but we need the input motor to spin this up and then we have uh, over here because this is not spinning equally uh, conversion of uh, reciprocating motion to the, uh, to the equal circular motion which we can then extract for our output generator and that's, this would be it so if this really works I cannot promise you. The patent itself has 40 pages, so you might want to read it. And there are a lot of explanation how this um, dead zone, how this force zone, you will see the images later, how this operates. And it's very, very complicated, I would say. But don't be uh, lazy, uh, go through the patent, the link is in the description below, and then make your comments. So let's try to conclude something. Okay, so what to say in the end? There are many patents which convert reciprocating to the circular motion. If you go throughout my channel, you will find such magnetic motors. But you will have to read the patents to know exactly that they are doing this. And Harold Miller is one of the not so simple versions, but yet they are interesting in a way because it is the only one which shows such an unequal spinning of the rotor and some kind of mechanism is required within this main shaft or some gears or something is hidden here which I could not show you but it's necessary for this to operate uh, now briefly I show you in, in front of my face the, the pattern itself you can see that it's pretty pretty complicated and the explanations are very long and I would say that it's really necessary to go through it, to know what's behind all of this and um, maybe get some idea for future projects. Well, this is basically it. Until next Magnetic Motor, as always, I promise you, which comes very soon, stay tuned on my channel. Bye-bye.